So when I'm out taking photos, I take JPEGs and RAWs, and the JPEGs have this film simulation on them. So that gives them a good stylistic look, and I don't have to edit anything. However, I was wanting to do some more RAW file edits, and I wanted them to look a little bit different. Now, whenever I go to try to edit them in Darktable, it wasn't actually looking right. So once I found Color Balance RGB, I was able to give warm highlights, cool shadows, and the colors just look just right. And I can't believe it took so long, but let's go ahead and we'll go over an image and I'll show you what the tool does. So welcome to the color balance RGB tutorial. I'm actually going to go over just color calibration real quick because someone asked about um, like contrast and stuff and that's actually in color balance RGB, but I think this also helps with that uh, and saturation. So once you've uh, gotten your photo into Darktable, it'll do some auto stuff, which is what this is. So like you look at the original here, and then we go to auto and it kind of just it kind of made it real green but it did highlight it a little bit but uh, whenever you first see your color calibration uh, it's it, I usually start out just making sure the white looks fine and then um, I will adjust the exposure after that which caused this and then go back to color calibration and uh, change the coloring around a little bit and if you are in color calibration uh, I would suggest uh, this is the one that does your whites so if you click this you can see where this square is right here and that will be your reference point for your white which you can make smaller and bigger based upon what you're trying to select and then after you've selected that and if you change hue or chroma or anything like that you can make stuff you know a little bit different stylized but I would go through your red, green, and blue channels, normalize those channels before you start adjusting because you'll start having some funky coloring happen. And then colorfulness uh, will increase the intensity, like a saturation, but in, on the individual channels and just normalize those as well. I hope that helps, but let's go ahead and talk about color balance RGB. Color balance RGB uh, is where you basically get your style um, with the photo. And you can see right here where we have like the photo looks pretty good as it is right now but I'm gonna go ahead and start adjusting some things here in color balance so first thing I want to do is I want to get some contrast in here which is on the top and that's what somebody was asking about contrast specifically this is where it's located um, I would not go too heavy because you can see where it kind of looks I don't know kind of crazy. I, I don't like it but if you want to go up 50% that's up to you um, but I usually stick to, if you double click these things, it'll reset them too. But I usually stick to about 1%, half percent goes up, but up to 10 usually is where I kind of have my cutoff. So I'm going to think I'm going to leave this at 9. It looks pretty good here with the contrast. And then we're going to go down here. I usually don't use any of these, uh, saturation or chroma grading because a lot of it just changes coloring which I can show you like an example here of that see how it sucks it out adds it to it and obviously you know the different channels add it to those different ones but um, that's not really I'm not too worried about adding a bunch of extra color into these um, I just want to have what it is currently and then maybe we'll add some saturation here in a little bit but we'll see I think it's pretty bright as it is I'm probably not gonna add this but global brilliance will you know, make stuff all the stuff get brighter you can see where how at the top there at the histogram how things went really far to the right here we're in the highlights and it just blew them out so normally that's why I'm saying like don't adjust this thing like dragging it really far because you can see just a few degrees or percent sorry percentages can um, make a big change so if you click on that it'll go away but um, just go right here, like add whatever brightness you want to it. Midtones. Uh, I think the midtones, I'm probably going to darken a little. Probably shadows a little bit too. Highlights are looking pretty good. I might add just a little bit to them though. And then once you've gotten to like your, your I feel like your base edit, I, I feel like you could add some saturation. I'm just going to do like over, the overall picture, I'm going to add like 5% which I think looks fine. Start getting crazy and dragging all the way to the side, it's gonna look like a clown. So we're gonna go to the four ways. So this is where you kind of get your your style or like whatever you're trying to do for the picture. You wanna add some sort of a mood to it or something. And 
normally don't do any kind of global offset for these. I mean, we can. Um, if anything, I would probably add some a little bit of coolness to it, like just a slight bit. And then shadows, you're gonna ch end up changing these. To, I, I usually like to cool down the shadows a bit. I even make those just like even a little bit more blue. And then some of the highlights, I want to make them more orange. So we'll just drag that. And this is where I don't really use a scroll wheel because it'd take me a while to just scroll to the side. I like chroma. You get a lot finer adjustments doing it this way than trying to drag it. Uh, yeah, there we go. We're going to start adding some more of that in there. So now it looks kind of like older because this this photo remind me of my grandmother's house and then power I'm not really sure if I want to add too much of this like the luminance of it okay good so I kind of wanted a little more orange I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that just a slight bit like less than half a percent on the chroma and then luminance I may end up resetting and then adjusting by just like a little. Probably put the limit to like two. So that shows you what like color balance RGB can do. It's a really great tool. I, I love it for the uh, amount of stuff I can do with it and the adding of the like the colors that I can add in or just change around. And since the global saturation decided to add it 10%, I think it looked a little better. It's the first time I've actually had to add it to anything because I felt like the roof was just not as vibrant as it should be. But let's go ahead and do a before, which we'll just say this is the before after all the auto stuff. But then after color calibration and exposure, that's what it looks like. And I think it did a great job keeping all the highlights, all the details, and in the shadows as well. Nothing's too bottomed out or too high up. I mean, there's some reds it looks like that are maybe a little bit blown out like right here. But I think otherwise it looks pretty good. But uh, I would suggest going to try out Color Balance RGB. It's probably one of my favorite tools for like after you're done with most of your edit and got it cropped in and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I hope this video helped you and I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a great day and talk to you soon.